Hello friends, in another tutorial, this tutorial I will show you how to get an image MIME type from the images in a folder using PHP and Microsoft Visual Code. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what I need to do, I need to check if my XAMPP environment is running, more specific to see if Apache server is running and it is because it's on green so make sure to do that then I will go to the to my XAMPP folder open htdocs and I will create a new folder here for my new project and I have named it PHP in the Visual Studio Code MIME type next I need to go to the Visual Studio Code we'll go to the file open folder and find the folder I just created and hit select folder. Now I will need to create a new file here. I will name it index.php and for this particular project we'll also need a folder with images. I've already prepared that. I have three pictures of the Visual Studio Code logo. One is PNG, one is JPEG and one is GIF. I will copy this folder, go to my htdocs in, in the folder I just created, I will paste it here. So make sure you have this folder with the pictures in your project's main folder. It doesn't have to be named images, but you can name it as you want, but make sure you reference it by the name you have set. Let's get back to the Visual Studio code. I will start my coding as usual by opening the PHP tag and closing it. First of all, I will need a variable, an array of to iterate all of my images. So I will create an array, limit images, and I will fill this variable with the with the names of all of my pictures or images in the folder images. So for that purpose I will use the file system iterator function. As a parameter I need to set the folder where I have saved my images. To do that we will I will type dot forward slash images. That is the name of my folder and the dot means that it will start looking from the root of my projects folder. As always we need to close this by adding a semicolon. In this variable we have all the, the names of the images located in this folder. To be able to iterate them we need to use a for each loop and we need to iterate this iterator here. So. We'll type images here as image. The image represents a single image, each iteration. And now to get the properties of each image, we will use the get image size function. Let me just show you what the get image size function returns. I will use the printr function for that. I get image size, as you can see the IntelliSense gives, gives me that function. And now we need to, since we are iterating, we need to pass the single image. Now if I go and see what we have done till now, I will open the browser, hit localhost, find the, type the name of the project folder, which I can copy it from here slash index.php and there you have it let me just move this to the right and I will move this to the left so that we can work and see better the results let me close that for now and I would add a echo PR so that we add a line after each array. Now if I refresh it, let me save it first. If I refresh it, this gives a better view of what we got. So this array is for the first image, this is for the second, and this is for the third image. 
and as you can see it has lots of fields this first field or key first key shows the width the second one is the height of the image the the third key gives us the mime type and then the third gives us the width and height for the string which can be used in in an, in an html code then it's it gives us the number of bits and in some cases it gives us the channel the number of channels and finally this is what we need the mime type written in text so what we need to extract first is we need to extract this key value pair and to do that I'll create a new variable here let's say I'll type mime type and I will type the cat image size we'll pass the parameter and then in brackets square brackets I need to pass the key the name of the key I need to return so it, the name of the key is mime as you can see it here now I will command this so we don't need to see that anymore and I will echo the mime type just to see that we are getting what we want and yeah this is what we get for the first image for the second one and for the third one but we have a problem here because we just want this lost characters and to do that we need to get rid of this image slash for that purpose i will create a new variable i'll name it extension and for this purpose we will use the substring function so to 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 get this part i will pass the variable which holds that full text and then what i need in this substring i need just to get everything that comes after this image forward slash so i will start the substring from the sixth character as you can see we have one two three four five six characters that we need to skip so we will start from the six meaning the seventh because the everything starts from the number zero so let's we'll start getting everything that comes after the image forward slash text let's type six here and now if i echo the extension only if i echo the extension only i will comment this don't need this anymore and save this project if i refresh it here now we are getting the real extension for each image you might want to do this if you want to get the extension and rename your image as you want let me show you an example where i I can use it i will go quickly and add some code and then i will explain it okay now i will comment this because i don't need to echo this part what i did here i added a random number between 1 and 10 each time we have a new iteration a new random number will be generated then i declare the new image name variable then i define my new image name variable i type new image as a text then i add the random number here then i add a dot and then i print the extension all within the same variable so make, make sure everything is in is within quotes i declare it like this because each iteration we want to reset the new image variable and in the end i echo the new image name if i save this and rename it this is what we get every time i re refresh this we get another random number so this whole project might be useful when you need to get the extension type from a, from an Im image and then rename it using your random name and then you can probably save it with a new name in, your, in another folder in your project maybe i will do a, another tutorial on that in the future but here we have only three images this piece of code will work even if if you have many many more images in your folder so hopefully this 
this will be useful for you and I hope you learn something. If you want to learn more about Visual Studio Code and PHP, make sure to check my playlist by clicking the card above. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this and with you guys I see you next time. Bye.